what's happening guys so we just left uh there there's an old bank building in uh the where i live or you know uh in the small little town that i live in uh it was an old national city bank uh you know way way back in the day and uh they closed it and uh whatever national city switched to pnc they completely closed the bank down and just made it into apartments so uh now they're in the process of shutting down the apartments and um uh yeah switching it over with they they're basically getting all the tenants out of there and they're gonna switch it over making it into I don't know something new so basically they're having like a like a big bank yard sale so there's you know there's a bunch of crap in there hold on anyways like I was saying they had a uh, uh, like a big yard sale thing in the bank and uh, so we found couple old cool things that I like uh, I gotta obviously clean them off and shit but there's an old complete stereo there it is an old complete stereo system and all that uh, there's an old record player like check that out it's an old record player I gotta get the top spinny part to it but other than that hopefully whenever it gets fixed and stuff it'll work uh, if not, I mean, we literally got this shit for free. Like, it, I, I don't know why the guy said that we could take it all, but he was like, I, I'm not going to be able to sell it, so just take it if you want it. So we got it for free. But when we walked in there, uh, uh, when we walked in there, I literally looked at Ashley and I said, this place doesn't feel right. Like, there's something that just felt off but I put it in the back of my mind and we just looked around well she walks away and takes a picture of the vault because the vault door was standing wide open and all that and she takes a picture of it well when I get up and I walk by I didn't even realize that this thing was here but or sitting there but I walk by I take, you know, I walk like five steps past it, and you start hearing like a music box playing. And I thought it was her. And it turns out it wasn't. I thought she was playing something on her phone. She had her phone out. And uh, she was like, is that, is that you? And I was like, what? She goes, the music box. I said, no. Uh, and, you know, are you serious? Uh, yeah, I'm serious. I didn't even know it was there. So, again, it was sitting on a table that I didn't even know was there. This little thing. Okay. It literally started playing when we walked by it. And we asked the lady if anybody turned it on or was messing with it. And... She told me that nobody has even been over there for like, she said, literally like the past hour and a half, two hours. And she also said that it, she didn't even think it worked. Like, she told me, and I didn't tell Ashley this, she told me that like, she like she was messing with it and there was no sound coming out of it like she said it didn't work and like as she's telling me this Ashley's buying this thing so like it, yeah but it worked it's working <laughs> and yeah so that happened and then when we got home she sits it on the the little stereo thing that we got out in the kitchen and I sits it there it, it was sitting there for a good 15 minutes and she was
standing by the by the table doing something. She was, I don't know, she was writing something down or whatever. And I was in the living room. I was sitting on the couch trying to cool off. And it started playing again out of nowhere. So, yeah. But it was five bucks. We literally got it for five bucks. So, again, that might be something something new and haunted and creepy to the game. So, uh, yeah. And then, oh, the big kicker is... When I got there and I walked in and I, I looked at her and said, Ooh, something doesn't feel right. Here to find out, apparently yesterday on Friday the 13th, the guy told me that there was a guy in one of the rooms, uh, you know, one of the attendants. Apparently he lived in, uh, it was Unit 503 or something like that apparently just randomly started choking and died yesterday like out of nowhere so I, I guess like the dude's girlfriend still is still living there but the guy died in the room like why how now obviously the building is old to begin with like whenever they first open it up to be apartments there was a couple people that moved in because this was like uh, low income or no income housing, you know, like the HUD thing. Uh, so there's a couple of people that actually moved in. There is uh, a couple after they did that, a couple people moved in. I know I want to say there was like three or four overdoses within like two weeks of this place being open as apartments. And then. As the years went on, there was, you know, a couple more deaths in there. So there's been quite a, quite a few, you know, quite a few deaths in that, in that apartment. But knowing that I walked into a place, literally picked up on, uh, uh, picked up on something off and then finding out there was somebody that just literally freshly died, not even 24 hours ago. That kind of freaked me out a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Like, uh, when a guy told me this, like, I it, it stunned me. Like, I looked at him and I was like, what? And he was like, yeah, somebody died. I was like, wait, like, Friday the 13th, like, yesterday, Friday the 13th? He goes, yeah. I was like, oh, fuck. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's... Uh, that's what's going on right now. So we got uh, something possibly, possibly new haunted item that we brought home, and then um, uh, I may actually be able to get the chance to uh, possibly investigate that old bank building as long as the because the guy he owns it now, so. Uh, you know, if he happens to, you know, have anything happen or whatever, he said that, you know, uh, uh, I may get to investigate it. So I'm pretty pumped about that. So and that's a fucking giant building. Like, it's huge. Like, uh, like I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's like, there's like 20 floors. So it's, it's pretty huge. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about it, but. Anyways, I am going to shut this down, and uh, I'll talk to y'all later.